right, big spot here for the former undisputed UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya, and he's not too emotionally attached to a lot of these results. I expect a big effort out of him here tonight. You know, John, I love that you teed it up that way because I was just thinking that for a guy that seemed to be on a rocket ship to the moon, becoming a middleweight champion, he handles adversity as well as anyone I've ever seen. When he lost to Jan Bohovic when he tried to become double champion, still even keel. When he lost his championship, even keel. I believe that ability will allow for him to work his way back to a championship opportunity where I expect him to be very competitive and possibly earn himself the belt back. And skill for skill, there are a lot of people that still believe he's the best middleweight in the world. A lot of the elite 185 pounders believe that Izzy and not necessarily Pereira represent the toughest matchup for them. We'll see how Adesanya fares in this critical matchup here tonight. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the heavyweight championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, has graced the octagon yet again. Johnny Bones is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of John Bones! Jones! All right, Herb Dean, third man Ready, in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. All right, here we go. The two future UFC Hall of Famers, Israel Adesanya and John Jones. We can barely hear ourselves talk inside this arena. And good on the promotion for getting these two to sign on the dock. No more Twitter, no more Instagram, no more social media. It's finally time for these two to fight. All the barbs that they have traded in the buildup finally leads us to right now when we get to watch two of the greatest fighters of all time finally lock horns. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' call the card. Able to check that kick as well. Fighter lands a kick to the leg now and a pretty good 
good one at that. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. Big for right. Nice double leg, nice finish. Jones is in half guard. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Now trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's trying to go to a Kimura lock right here. He'll either try to get the submission or use the sweep. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. And now he finds himself out and safe. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Past the two minute mark in round one. Israel Adesanya is back in half guard. Very comfortable here. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. Oh, what a connection. And back to his feet. Huge block there. Another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Buck, buck, buck. This round, we're still going to wrestle, but we got to be smarter. Defend his shots better. Circle off. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear right. of getting taken down right. back to the mat again. Right. Round two underway. back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about that sparkle. How he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh! Nice combination there by Johnny Bones. Mike Wickeljohn always says we've only seen 30% of what he can do. Maybe 35% after that beautiful combination. And that's insane to me that you're not seeing John Jones at his full potential with all that has it come for. He's a phenomenal athlete and a fantastic fighter. And now that It's just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Here's the buff with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 53 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. 
All right, so as they say, another highlight for the appreciable reel of the middleweight champ, Israel Adesanya, your winner tonight by knockout. Adesanya is such a powerful guy and such a big guy that when he lands, he can shut your lights off. Tonight, he gets it.